You have more courage than the people who don't go up there and talk to the people. You see what I'm saying? Because you actually got, you had the, the audacity to go talk to somebody that you thought was attractive. At least get rejected. You see what I'm saying? At least you got rejected in an honorable way. Some of the best ways to deal with rejection, I ain't gonna lie to you. When it comes to rejection, when it, when it comes to a female saying, no, nah, I don't wanna be with you, or vice versa, if you are a, you a female and you want a guy and he say, no, nah, he don't want you, right? Let me tell you the best ways to get over that person. Things first, if you guys haven't already, make sure haven't already liked, share, subscribe with everybody who you think might enjoy this content. Let's get to this video. One thing that I can say, you guys who are experiencing rejection or you've been getting rejected by all types of females, or if you're a female getting rejected, getting rejected by males, is hit the gym. Hit the gym, like hit the gym. The gym is one of the best forms of relieving stress that I can think of. And that removes so much out of your brain, out of your body, and it relieves all that anger and stress out of your body. Like I'm telling you, hands down, one of the best things to do. I've experienced rejection. You and that person that you actually wanted to be with, the person that you thought was attractive, with, is, is is doing you wrong. Don't want to be with you. Hit the gym. Just hit the gym. That's one of the best things that you could do. Number two, another thing that you can do to, to get over that rejection is to actually read a book or something. Like if you read a book or read a novel or something like that, like and you and you read something that you enjoy, your mind you you align your mind to breathe and to escape from reality and to and to actually create its own narrative. And if you can do that, if you can read a book, I'm telling you, don't get it twisted. You probably gonna still have some 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 anger or some some feelings of rejection, but you are gonna get over it. You know what I'm saying? You gonna read a book, you gonna you gonna read a book, and you gonna enjoy the story. You are gonna get into it, and you are gonna move on. Number three, number three, number three. When it comes to dealing with rejection and when it comes to to getting over a relationship or something that you that you were trying to get on that with and it just failed because I, I got a lot of these you know i got a lot of stories about getting rejected and I, a lot of things that i can give you guys advice on when it comes to dealing with rejection just move on like just move on like it's plenty of fish in the sea it's plenty of sharks in the tank it's so many different opportunities for you to meet new people that it's not even fun. do things that you enjoy to do don't go out there chasing to get something that you want. Now, as men, we, that's what's inside of us. To, our our creation is to chase. But don't go out there chasing every female on the block. Like, don't do that, bro. Like, don't do that. Don't chase every female on the block. What I'm telling you is, when you see somebody that you feel like is really, really attractive, really, really pretty, or whatever the case may be for your standards, it's a time and a place for everything. Don't, don't be desperate and chase every female out there, or if you're a, a female, every dude on the block. What it means is, your people wisely make sure that they can meet the eye test and then when you speak to them make it sound like they have a brain that's what you want to have make sure they sound like they have a brain to even entertain you intellectually they find they meet all your criteria on the on the looking scale right but they can't even entertain you with a conversation then automatically that should be a no that's a red zone or if they come off and that's what i have to work on being being sometimes people say i'm aggressive so Working on, your, working on your aggression. Like, if you come off aggressive to the person that you're trying, like, if the person that you're trying to talk to is aggressive or whatever the case may be, then that's probably a, a no go too. I'm sorry, this is all out the way. I'm sorry, this video is everywhere, and I'm just, I'm crusty right now, and it is what it is. I'm sorry, but move. One of the most important things is just to move on and understand that there's other people out there that that's better for you than that person that you were trying to get on that with in the first place. It's always something better, and when you finally. You, and my philosophy is you will never find the best thing for you. You just find the best thing that was available that was in the tank. So, for example, right, there's seven something billion people in this world. And you're going to sit here and tell me that this person right here is the one that you know is for you off of first sight. No. But what you what you are saying is that this is the best person that was available to me that I that, that I was able to get with. And that's what it is. So what that means is. Take your time and picking a person that that you actually want to be with. And everything else is going to lead you to the person that you were supposed to be with. So don't force the process of trying to find this person for me. It's going to come. Don't chase it. Don't overchase. Don't overchase none of that. It's going to come when it's supposed to come. So the best thing, I think that was the fourth fourth reason, is let it come naturally. Don't, don't overchase. When the time is meant to be, it will come. I'm telling you, there's no way in this creation, in this world that we live in, the way it's the way it's designed in this matrix is that it's gonna come when it's supposed to come. Don't ever don't over chase it. I'm telling you. More personal things that I gotta say about rejection is that don't let it defeat you. It makes you stronger every single time you get rejected for the most part. 
Rejection allows you to understand, dang, where did I go wrong? Was I overly too awkward in this situation? Was I a little too weird in this situation? Like, what did I do? Was I was it the way I smelled? Like, did I stink? Like, did I, did I not brush my teeth? It makes you reflect on what you did and you get better. At least you have, you have more courage than the people who don't go up there and talk to the people. You see what I'm saying? Because you actually got, you had the, the audacity to go talk to somebody that you thought was attractive. At least get rejected. You see what I'm saying? At least you got rejected in an honorable way. And that's all that really matters. At least you had the audacity to do something like that. So don't let anybody who talks down to you getting rejected as a bad thing. You had the enough strength inside of your body to get up or do whatever you were doing to go talk to the person that you actually found attractive. Understand? Does that make sense? Like the people who be talking the most crap be the ones who don't get no action, males or females. That's just what it is because y'all talk so much, but y'all just be behind the sidelines just watching and waiting to laugh at somebody else for failing something that you couldn't even do yourself. So don't listen to these haters. I was like, share, subscribe. If you haven't already shared with your friends and family, and I love every last one of you guys. Comment what you want to see from me in the future. Javon Story is out. Until next time.